day number two, here we go. In the tundra. This is, oh wow, this ground is squishy. It's like a trampoline. How is today different than yesterday, I suppose? Today's a lot different. We're gonna do a hiking trip, about a five, six mile hike. Uh, we're just gonna hike our way into the river and float our way, or walk our way all the way down and get picked up at a later destination. So no raft, all no raft. on foot. Let's hit it. You ready? Yes. From the naked eye, it looks like this tundra is really solid ground. You'd think it would be, you know, tundra. You think of ice and snow and a bunch of rocky terrain. But what we're walking through right now is essentially like uh, really soupy, soft moss. And every step, you sink in about a half foot, maybe a full foot. And it makes for quite the workout in big, heavy neoprene waders, especially when you've got 500 yards to go. They're ptarmigan. No, I think those are spruce Tar grass again. Ptarmigan get white during the winter time, right? Yeah. That's a ptarmigan, dude. Look at he's white. When are you guys gonna fly away? Come on, let that survival instinct kick in. I'm about to grab you. <laughs> it's okay. They must not feel. Oh, six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. All right. Here they go. Ptarmigan during the winter time, from what I've learned through uh countless Nat Geo watches is that um, in the tundra, when it does snow and it gets cold here, they turn completely white. As you saw there, they're brown. So they adapt to whatever sort of ecosystem they're living in. Look how different this river looks to the one that we fished yesterday. That's one end right there. And the other end is right there. It's tiny, but it's still got big fish. Still lots of carnage. Look at all this carnage. It's a salmon graveyard. How does it smell? Yeah, right? Look at that. <laughs> you okay? It smells just like a sushi shop. I don't know what the big deal is. Huh? Where are they at? I don't see them in here, but I bet you there probably is one there. And then we'll see them in the middle down here. Okay. Is that a fish? I don't think so. Is that one right there? Yeah, that's a fish. A toss on him? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like literally right there. <laughs> I don't have any line. There. Got him. <laughs> that was a one inch cast. Got <laughs> No, 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 don't go there. Go out, go out, go out, go out. I gotta run. I gotta run down. Go. That was so cool. You guys saw it. I don't need to explain it. That was a one inch cast on a world class rainbow that was right in front of my feet. Good coaching job on Scott's part. That was freaking money. Yeah, he's trying to go in the, in the cover right now. Smart fish. So I love this type of fish, and you guys know me, I'm a creek angler. Anytime I'm in a creek, I'm in the water, I'm fishing for big fish, I am having the time of my freaking life. Lawson has doubled, his fish is right in front of me. Oh, it just jumped him. <laughs> this one has just run me down current. It's not a massive one, about a, about a 20, maybe 19 inch trout. But when you catch him in small waters like this, it is uncomparable to anything out there. We gotta chase this fish down, guys. Let's go, let's go get him. He's on the run. There he is, oh, I see him. I see him tailing up there. He's getting ready to quit. She's almost done. She's getting really tired. As am I. <laughs> I don't know who's more tired, me or the fish. What? Look at that bow. <laughs> this is what it's all about. And that is how you land a rainbow trout in skinny water. Unreal, just unreal. There. That's a fish. Right. Just came right back in my face. There. there he is. That was much better, that was much better. Oh my god, dude. My life. I don't need water. I'm thirsty for trout. Spare rainbows, sir? Spare rainbows? Oh, set. Beat gone. Wrong way. I said the hook the wrong fing way. Da. There. Oh, 
Oh, clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it. Perfect. You gotta say, oh my fing see, get no money. Son of a <laughs> dude. You cannot fing get these fish. You're, you're you're getting caught back here, you're setting so so big. Well I'm trying to dump the line, right? Yeah, but keep you're kinda like getting so caught up back here the rod's getting too low and then when they shake okay. I think you're getting slack. Okay. That's Fuck. my guess as to why they might be popping. <laughs> keep the rod up real high. Oh god. Oh god, I got it. I suck. Thank you Prepare so much. Prepare for an amazing suit, man. This is gonna feel good. He's bumped. You're a big movie dude, right? I wanna know, can you bite my lure? I wanna know, can you do it right now? Quick tip, guys. If you're having a hard day out in the water and, you know, the fish aren't cooperating and they're just not being very nice to you, bump some Philly Collins. The soundtrack to Mulan's also really good. I prefer this, though. It's just, I don't know, it gets me pumped up. A lot of people listen to, like, Drake or, you know, Queen or whatever to get yoked up, but it's, it's, uh, it's this. This gets the blood flowing. Anyway, as you guys can see, I'm losing my f***ing mind right now. Trout. 30 John B1. Uh, I think the, the main problem right now is this is a very different style of fishing for me. Yes, I've fly fished for a few years now and I'm really trying to hone on my skills, but this is so different. I have to improve my roll cast. I also have to work on my, my mending abilities. I got the roll cast down fairly well. The mending is just like, it's like trying to teach a, a tortoise to run. It's pretty uh, impossible. You have to have everything right here. Like it, it seems like it would be simple because, oh, you're in Alaska, you know, these fish probably never get touched. Well, yes, but you still need to present the lure in the correct way. Here's the flip side. As we just ate lunch, I got a good feeling that we're gonna run across some good ones here shortly, but um, I just had to kind of hit rock bottom before I can make my way back up. And I'm, I'm pretty much at rock bottom right now. I'm actually laying on rocks as we speak. So that's about as close to rock bottom as I can literally get. There's one. On the Dude, this isn't gonna end well, I don't think. Yeah, no, that's that's not good. Which way do I keep the rod? Towards the current? You have it. Right there. You guys, I'm not getting excited right now. I know that I should be like really pumped because I'm hooked up, but I've gotten hooked up like three times, four times just before this, and I've lost all of them. So I'm not getting too pumped up just yet. Oh, big, yeah, he's big, I know. All right. Good, good, good. Wow, dude, wow. I'm like freaking out. Right I'm freaking out. How the f did that fish not just come out? Come on, don't come off, Bessie. Don't come off, Bessie. So we about have this fish beat. He's beat. Got you. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Woo! What'd I say? We we're gonna catch some fish. It's a very hairy catch, tons of snags. I cannot believe we landed this guy. Give him a drink. Look at that. That's a trout. That is a beautiful. Alaskan rainbow. Gonna give him a quick donkey, get the hook out, and we'll keep fishing. You're a real sport. One more peek. Just want you guys to see with how beautiful these fish look. This is where their names really come true. They legitimately look like rainbow fish in these amazing waters. He's gone. Yes! Hey, we're getting out of it. Let's go, boys. We got this. Oh! Small one. I was looking at that dolly, like this one. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Yo, we got to tape this one for sure. He's still probably like 13 like, inches. 14. For an actual rainbow, like a good one. 13, 14, still 15 incher. That's the smallest fish we caught this trip. And that's a 15 inch rainbow trout. He wanted to let you know that he's, he's not fighting small though. He's fighting like a big one. <laughs> good shot. <laughs> Thanks Scott, I really appreciate that one. Okay. There we go. Oh my God. There we go. Nice one. Giant. There's no way he's still on. He's off. I think. That was a f***ing giant. I just got housed, bro. Oh, my heart is pounding. I should have ran faster. I didn't know he was going to go f***ing straight under the guy tree. That was a good one. That's a trout for you. 
Look at what that trout did to my hook. Just bent it near straight. Oh my goodness. Yeah? That was so sick. Good fish. We're good, we're good, we're good. Just boinked this guy in front of some grizzlies. Really nervous, you know. A little bit of activity on the surface can get these grizzlies riled up and hungry. So I don't really want to handle a fish right there in front of some bears. But it was a big one, so we had to strike it. Had to take a swing. She just went under that tree. That was gnarly, dude. I don't even know how I got that fish out. Yeah, right to you. Oh, yeah. Dude, we got to get a pick of that fish. So I caught this fish like 20 feet away from some bears. Literally. Yeah, that was so crazy. Right back there walking around. <laughs> Two big old grizzlies. This might be our, pretty much our last fish of the day, you reckon? Yeah, one of the last ones, and it's a really good one. Definitely my biggest of the day. Let's send you back, big guy. Oh, wow. Really freaking awesome fish. So clap for that one. Thank you, guys. That was dope. Right there. Oh, that's a fish right there? Yeah. Okay. And left. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. That was so cool. Hey, nice coaching. That was dope. We got to a fork in the river. We took the left side right down this really skinny path you guys see on my left. And it had like a few little ones in this one really nice one just sitting in about what looked like maybe six inches of water. This is a quality fish, maybe a little bit bigger than the last one. Threw it right in front of him and he took. I'm really starting to get the hang of this. God, this fish is still fighting me. I still can't even really get him that close. I got him right up about there and then he shot back out. I actually don't really know how big this fish is. I mean, it looks like it's about a low 20, but I could be wrong, could be mid. Oh, 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 no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. I don't know how big this thing is. He's right there, he's right there. Here he comes. Okay. This is by far probably my longest fight of the entire trip. It's funny, we were just talking yesterday, we were discussing that the like low 20 inches will put up the hardest fight. Lawson had one yesterday that just ran him like a dog all the way down the current. Here he comes. Yeah, that's badass. That's a good one. Nice grab. It took us a while to get out of that uh, slump, but we're doing it. We're making it happen. Get that hook out. That fish is going nowhere too. Hook is out. Gonna go for the release. Beautiful, chromey rainbow colors. This guy's really silver, like, they're addicting fish, man. I love them so much. I did not appreciate rainbows until this trip, and I'm so glad I came here. He's gone. Woo! <sighs> hey, good day, boys. Porter there, three-way. We fished the little river, caught some good fish. I think our biggest was, what, 20? Oh, we didn't measure, did we? Probably 23-ish. Pretty big fish for a small river. Pretty big fish, like, in general, even caught out of a big river. Most of the trips that I go on test me, whether it be within the US or international trips, but this one has tested me especially, mainly because of this guy right here. I'm not a fly angler, and uh, I'm so used to bringing conventional gear with me, and this is a trip where Scott was like, just bring fly gear. So I was like, here we go, you know? This is really gonna put my skills to test, and uh, I've learned so much. So while it's been difficult in the beginning, learning a ton thanks to that dude right there and also thanks to the fish the fish actually teach you a lot you know the fish you lose especially teach you a lot day two in alaska complete we did it i will catch you guys tomorrow bright and early in the tundra as always folks keep fishing never stop <laughs>